Hey y'all, this Miss Renee, and I'm back with another video on how I made my ham, hock, and smoked neck bone egg rolls. I deboned all of the meat and threw the bones away. And I'm gonna take the meat, a little bit of cheese, roll it up. Got a little egg wash just to make sure they don't come loose and putting them on the tray to get them ready to fry one more this one in particular is the corned beef though the corned beef kobe swiss cheese i also made those for the kids because you know they weren't gonna eat no ham hock egg roll <laughs> So I had to make some for the kids so they could eat too, you know? So this is my water that I made for my greens. Yes, honey, I used all of the, the juice from the ham hock, from the corned beef, and from the smoked neck bones. Threw that water together and put me some collard greens in there, honey. Uh-uh. We ain't gonna let that good old water go to waste. Hey, it's Miss Renee. And we're back for another episode of Muck Bangs and Money. Yes, on this channel, we feature your two favorite things. Eating and them coins, boo. And them coins. I am so excited. I cannot tell y'all. I think that, I'm telling y'all right now, I think that this is going to be a YouTube exclusive because I, I've i been watching a lot of mukbangs and I have not seen a mukbang like this one. Yes! Oh, you think these are regular egg rolls? Oh, 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 no, honey. Oh, no. These egg rolls is something else. So, how you doing? How y'all doing? First of all, I would like to say how tired I am. I've been working, 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 working. You know that song Michael Jackson's got? Working, working, working day and night. I'm so tired, tired now. Because. Orange pop. So, y'all know this always say pop. You don't want to know why. It's because I'm from Michigan where we say pop and not soda even though okay 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 y'all won y'all won it do say soda on the can but if you're from michigan you say pop so potato potato it is what it is all right so i got a lot to talk about tonight um i'm excited because I got a lot going on. I got these going on. These egg rolls right here going on. And then I got some other stuff going on that's popping off this, this Monday, this weekend. I got like eight wigs to make uh, and no time to make them. But we got to figure out how to do that. So anyway, without further ado, let's say the blessing and get it in. Lord, thank you for the food that I'm about to receive for the nourishment of my body. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. So, I'm not going to hold y'all up any longer. These egg rolls that I have made, I have made, of course, your regular... Um, Mmm, cheesy. Corned beef with uh, Kobe cheese and Swiss cheese. 
And then over here, we have ham hock, smoked ham hock. How many of y'all just love ham hocks and the greens and then your beans? And I'm telling you, sometimes it just ain't enough ham hocks in your beans and greens and stuff. And you just be wanting to eat the ham hock. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh my gosh. Then over here, we have smoked neck bones. Don't ask me what possessed me to do this. I'm just telling you that I was walking through Walmart and I'm looking at and I'm trying to come up with something else different to cook and to eat. And I'm like, I'm about to put some neck bones and some, and some, and some ham hocks inside of some egg rolls. And I think I was supposed to get one other thing, too, that I didn't get. Uh, I forgot what it was. But anyway, yeah. So I got my two sauces here that I got from the Asian store. I, I don't found this Asian store. I'm telling y'all right now, it's going down. Like, it's got so much stuff in that store. I, I don't even know where to start to start making mukbangs for the stuff that's in this store it's stuff is so much so different so this right here is spring roll sauce spring roll sauce and i'm gonna sit this one right here and then i have another one it's called plum sauce Cause I don't really like duck sauce. So got my two sauces. Got my two sauces. And I hope they good too. Mm, okay. I'm so excited. I don't know what to do. We are about to make history on YouTube right now. If anybody else can find me somebody who made a smoked neck bone egg roll, please put it in, in down in the comments because I want to see this because other than that, I feel like I'm the first one to do this and we about to taste this and see what it do. I really don't even know which one this is because I done got them mixed up. The only ones that I know which ones they are is the corned beef. Now, from the looks of it, it looks like it's the smoked. It's the smoked neck bone. So I'm going to taste it without the sauce first to see what it tastes like. I can't wait for my husband to eat some. Mm -mm. Mm. This right here, <laughs> you can get rich off these. I ain't lying. I ain't lying. If you think I'm lying, go make some for yourself and then make a video just so that people don't think I'm lying right now. Mm -mm. Y'all remember how I was eating the rice and the sausage and the cucumber? This is right along those lines right here. I'm telling y'all. So let's try the spring roll sauce. I'm just dip it. Just dip a little bit in the spring roll sauce so we can see how it tastes. And it's crunchy. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my 
my goodness. I'm telling y'all right now. I done messed around and messed up. I'm telling you right now, I might even quit my job tomorrow. <laughs> and just start slanging these boys because I'm telling you. For about $5 a whop, you can mess around and become YouTube claiming off these right here. I'm telling you right now, these need to be on somebody's menu. I'm not playing. Wow. And then I made like the egg rolls like extra huge. Like I stuff when I say I stuffed them full of nothing but meat. Anybody who loves smoked neck bones, you gonna love these. I'm telling you, I'm about to figure out a way to get them on the market. Them right there? Mm-mm. I'm trying to tell you, these mugs is good. Mm, mm, mm. Smoke, neck bone. Ham hog is next. Egg rolls. But I know that we have all had pork, you know, a pork egg roll. But it usually have cabbage and very little pork in there when you get it from the, um, the store so let's see what's happening let me pull it from over here so i can make sure oh it's a big one that's a big one oh my goodness That is ham hocks in there. <sighs> mm. When you first bite it, it tastes porky. You know, you know how ham hocks are. But after you chew it a little bit, you be like, mm. yes. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to see what it tastes good, other, you know, to put on the inside of these. I'm going to try the plum sauce with this one. See if it's good. See if that old plum sauce good. What is plum sauce? Do anybody know? We just be eating stuff. I don't definitely know where we got. I did one of my kids to read to me like I fuck. It's got these little egg rolls on the front. So you figure, you know, they must go on an egg roll. I wanted some kind of honey mustard sauce or something. Mm-hmm. 
така. Smoked neck bone was better. But. Okay then. Okay then. Got that old ham hot. It's good. I'm gonna find a way. Ooh, you know what might be good with the ham hocks? To put some greens in there. Mmm. Yes. Put some greens and some um, cause you know what? I ain't gonna even I ain't gonna even trip though. I did one girl made a collard green egg roll before and brought it up to the slime. Um it was good. You know me, I like I I want some meat in mine, but um that's how I know that greens in an egg roll is not too bad because I tasted it before. Okay, we going back to this one, which is the smoke neck bone. Cause this was good, good, good. good. Y'all gotta try it. I'm not playing. Mm. So good. And if we have some like some fried rice right now. Let me tell you that what would be even better. If you had some beans, like some butter beans, cooked just right with that gravy in them, like you know how the butter beans and the sauce be like thick, and you could like um, dip this down in the beans and eat it and then eat your beans too it'll be all over but the shouting baby mm, mm, mm. everything will be all over but the shouting so Now that we didn't do it all that, I want to tell you what else I'm happy about. <laughs> so this Monday is the grand opening of my new salon. Yay! Yes. I'm expanding from a little bitty room <laughs> to a bigger suite. But progress is progress, honey. And I'm gonna celebrate all the way up to the big ignorant penthouse in the sky. I'm gonna celebrate every milestone because I work really, really hard. But anyway, The name of my salon is Headdresses, Luxury Hair and Wigs. Um, it's a wig, it's a wig and extension and hair extension salon. Where we do all types of hair extensions and wigs. Um, I do regular hair too. Cut, color, curl, you know, micro links. Um We also service wigs too. We repair them, we color them, we shampoo them, um, 
and style them, cut them, whatever you want done, repair the lace, whatever you want done. <clears throat> so check out my other channel. I have another YouTube channel, Hairdresses, Luxury Hair and Wigs. Check it out. Check me out. Subscribe to that channel. But anyway, so we have like this big basketball star who owns the big plaza, the suites that I'm about to start working in. I mean, well, I'm already working in. And we're having a big grand opening Monday where everybody is coming and we're doing a ribbon cutting ceremony and it's a formal event. It's going to be um, broadcasting live on WJLB. Um, it's going to be food. It's going to be fun. It's going to be raffles. I'm going to be raffling off a wig for $5. Yes, $5. So if you're in the Detroit area, if you're in Michigan, come on down. Chauncey Billups is um the basketball player he's gonna be there with his wife and family and we're gonna be taking pictures and we're gonna be having a lot of fun so see y'all down there this monday august the 12th at salon plaza it's located inside the southfield plaza so anyway so the dj came in and he interviewed me. Um, and so I want you guys to hear it. I want you guys to hear it. I got like five minutes of, no, five seconds of fame. Detroit's own five-time NBA All-Star and his wife Piper will be at the grand opening of Mr. Big Shot's latest venture, Salon Plaza, on Monday, August 12th at 29706 Southfield Road. Join 97.9 WJLB's Kirby Quinn from 5 to 7 p.m. for fun, food, and entertainment. Check out the salon suite of established hair stylists, locticians, nail technicians, and estheticians. Hi, this is Renee, owner of Headdresses, Luxury Hair, and Wigs. Let's go! It's Monday, 5 to 7 at Salon Plaza, Southfield Road. Okay. <laughs> yes, honey, I'm going to be on the radio. I'm so geeked. <sighs> so, we've been working, working, working really, really hard. So, I'm going to give you a sneak preview of what we've been working on. Luxury hair and wigs. Now I got glitter all on my hands. But, yes. So, if you're in the Detroit area, come on down. Yes. So, these are definitely... Corned beef. Corned beef. Kobe Swiss. Mmm. 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 That cheese. That cheese. Mmm. Cheese. So, I got a lot to do. We're going to have a lot of people down there. A lot of big bosses down there. You know, and I want to look fabulous. Of course I'm going to go live. Of course I'm going to make a video. You guys are going to get to see Chauncey because I'm going to take a video. Not only that, you get to meet the whole Salon Plaza team. I am the Plaza manager up there, Plaza leader, I mean, up there and. It's a very beautiful upscale salon in Michigan. 
if you're a hairstylist in Michigan looking for a good place to work, come on down to Salon Plaza and I'll get you plugged in for sure. I'm tired. Did I say that? Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm about to go get in the shower. And lay it all the way down. <coughs> get up under the air conditioner. And relax. The next couple of days is going to be really active. Eight weeks. I don't even know why I'm doing this to myself. Yes, I do, because I got to make it. I got to make it in life. And when you want to make it, you have to tire. You have to be tired. You have to work from the time you get up to the time you go to bed. Doing things that improve your, your life. Doing things that improve your future. <clears throat> I had to eat anyway, so I love doing these mukbangs. I love um, cooking. And so stay tuned uh, because I'm going to be doing some exciting stuff. I got some exciting stuff coming up. Like I said, ooh, mm -mm -mm. this is just the beginning, y'all. Y'all ain't seen nothing yet. This is a YouTube exclusive. Like I said, if you know anybody on YouTube, who have made a ham hock egg roll? Please comment. Other than that, I'm the ham hock egg roll queen. Ham hock egg roll queen, and I am the smoke neck bone egg roll queen. Original content right here on Mukbangs and Money. That's what you're going to see from me. Original content. Now, every once in a while, I'm going to do a challenge. I'm going to do a food combination that everybody else is doing. I hope that this food combination catches on. And if you decide to do a video with these egg rolls in it, Make sure you add my name in the, um, make sure you give credit where credit is due. If you decide to go out and make some ham hock egg rolls, put my name in the title. Give me some credit, girl. Hashtag me. Okay? That's all I'm asking. I love y'all. I hope we all make it. I hope we all get some of them coins. Get some of that dinero. Yes, honey. Because I am here for it every day and all the time. Okay? I'm going to sleep, y'all. I love y'all. And I'll see you in the next video.